man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you hit the newsletter button. You'll see the opening call on the left-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button, and you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $583 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. When you get Basil's newsletter, you're also going to get about nine or ten great archives so you really understand how to ride the market, ride that Chapman wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Yeah, talking about each and every day. If you're looking at the chart on the left here, you can see we've got red bars, then green bars, and red bars, green bars. It's just been up and down and up yes. and down. So what's very interesting is this is the first time in a little while that on a purely technical basis... I'm starting to see some structure come in for some of the stocks that um, either were leading and then just got smashed to the downside. Some of them are starting to at least show some signs of strength that is, uh, how should I put it? On, it's hard to give short term and long term because everybody has different uh, meanings. My, my thinking here is that we're very close to uh, about a two week it could even be a three-week uh, rally, and that's going to be very important. It could be shorter. It could be just speed on the upside. But at the same time, because the Fed, what happens normally when the Fed comes in, as we get closer and closer to what I call Fed speak at 2 o'clock, um, on the Wednesday, you start whatever the market is doing, if it's sharply higher earlier on or if it's sharply lower, as it gets closer and closer to the to the actual 2 o'clock to 2.30 time frame, the market just narrows. It just kind of it meanders and it waits. So as far as I'm concerned, looking back historically, I, haven't got, I can't document it because I haven't written it down every time. But if memory serves me well, I very, very seldom – got a major turnaround at the Fed uh, at the Fed um, the, when they when they discuss their book where they discuss all the you know, that two o'clock and or two thirty uh, where there's there's a, an open mic and and questions are taken uh, in this case from Powell I once I remember getting uh, sending su subscribers a short sale we got the two times short the DXD straight after the Fed speak, and it was a, just a terrific turn to the downside. But most of the time, you're either in the trend or you have already made the turn. So it's not that they they trigger the turn. It's just that's all I'm looking at. So I, whatever they say, it's how the market reacts. And I'll be discussing a lot of this in my show tomorrow at 10 o'clock, just the parameters that I'm looking at. And you can see on this daily chart, the Dow, of course, has been the strongest of all the indices and hasn't gone to its uh, January, uh, to, sorry, to the February low. Um, it just broke the March low by a tad yesterday. So it's got this arch formation. You can see the MACD is holding much better than it was before. I had discussed this. In fact, we were talking about it last week. I said, do you look at the vertical test of the high that was made on the, 40, on the 29th of March at 35,372 in the Dow? And then that cup formation that retested and went to a slightly higher high on the uh, 20, what was that, to 21st of April at 35,492. If you look vertically down, it's it's almost the way that you look at your, your volume. I'm looking at the same thing but with my own technicals. It was much weaker. But now what we're looking at is that the, the MACD is starting to improve just a little bit. And there, there's a chance. And the, now I'm looking at parameters. And all I'm going to say is not, not tomorrow afternoon, but Thursday at this time at about 2 to 3 o'clock on Thursday, if the Dow is trading well above 35,000, uh, sorry, 33,600, and it's uh, 33,200 right now. Um, so that's two days' time. If it's trading in the uh, 33,600s, 
that would be the sign that I'm looking for to say that the low that we made yesterday, which I think um, has the chance now to produce a pretty good counter trend rally, that's succeeding. If there is a, a, a decline in the Dow, I'm using the Dow because, it's, as I say, it's been the better of the indices. If the Dow is trading below 32,750, um, at that time, that's just saying, you know what? Rallies are just not showing any, um, they, they do not have the strength to continue to, to move higher and will go sideways to down. So this is a really important moment in that the weekly chart has seen uh, a pullback, but we haven't taken out that left side low either. It's got the H pattern, and these H's can turn into a cup formation. So I'm just saying this is what I'm looking at. And uh, we, for subscribers, we've been in cash, big cash position. We have had very nice trades actually on the long side of the Dow um, quite a number of times. Even today, we went long uh, the Dow. We actually went long the, uh, the QQQ, and it had a really nice uh, pop, and then it came back and took us out. But um, I'm making the stops very tight. I don't see any reason to get too carried away, but I am looking at some stocks that are starting to show strength, and they are in areas, various areas, some of them cyclical, and that's going to be important. Are they able to, to um, rally and sustain a rally? It's not rallying because we've seen one day pops to the upside. We had a 600, 700-point rally the other day. That's not the point. It's sustainability. Hey, so Pastor, overall, let, let me ask you something. Yes. Where do you have oil on, on your, um, you know, ABC? So, start, a, you know. Yeah, so if you're looking at crude oil, yeah. it's been in the sideways pattern. And here's another, actually, I'm going to discuss some of these patterns tomorrow because this is very important. It had a huge spike to the upside on the 7th of uh, March to about 128, and then it came down. Then it made an that H was, pattern. Oh, I see. That was an E, right? That was an E. And then what happened is okay. it pulled back and it made one arch. And the whole thing about the arch, yep. if it holds the left side low, can you can make that. yet okay. another arch. But the fascinating thing is I like to talk about rectangle formations, narrow rectangles and yep. large rectangles. And look, it's just been stuck in a trading range. But the whole idea here is that it's still in the hundreds. It's not like you can dismiss it. This is holding very well so far. So, yes, that's oil. So these patterns, you know, I... I talk about VIXI, which is the volatility index, Dolly, which is the dollar. We've been long the dollar for a couple of years now. It's trading at an all-time high, not all-time high, but uh, at least a recovery high. And that's at 103.48 in this. It's forming a little narrow rectangle. So I like to call these things, and this is also what I'll talk about in my show at 10 o'clock in the Tiger Technician's Hour tomorrow. Dixie, which is the dollar. Bondi, which is bonds. Um, uh, this is, I'm looking at oily, which is oil. You've got the gold, which is goldy, and bondy, which is bonds. So I, I nicknamed these five different areas, and each one has been separate. Look, when gold, when dollar goes to almost a, a new highs, and gold holds, that's something to be, uh, you know, that's a diversion we're looking at in this market. It's an unusual market. No doubt. Listen, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit newsletters. You can see the opening call right on your left-hand side. Second one down. Hit that button and you're riding that wave. Baz, have a great one. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, John. Thank you. you.